Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my last play of Galaxy 3. The game, full name, Galactic Civilization 3, Star Duck Game, I'm Avatopia. This is episode 263 of my little skirmish game with the most up-to-date, um, basically most all the DLC, all the expansions, most up-to-date version of the game you can as a recording of this. So obviously if you're watching this in 2023, then yeah, this is probably not most up-to-date. <laughs> Assuming uh, they've done a few updates since then, but they haven't. Anyway, as recording this, again, the same as last week's episode, I'm doing this on the 15th of 9th, what I believe was September, and 2020. Okay. And once we've done this little skirmish, we're then going to focus on the campaigns again, uh, basically because the campaigns are set earlier than some of the expansions, so some of the features aren't included, like so some of the have espionage, Banzer's not there, and you've got like, I think the, the lowest one has like four of these only. Half of these aren't here, half of this stuff isn't here. And also some of the mechanics work differently, like the ground combat versus the teleporters aren't there, and stuff like that. That's the whole reason why someone asked a while back when I was doing my campaigns, is this the most up-to-date version? And I, I, I replied to them on the channel, yes, but... It is the most up-to-date version, but unfortunately, because of I'm doing it past campaigns, even though I've got the most up-to-date version, some of them campaign missions don't use the update features. So in that sense, no. And I said, would you, would you want me to do a skirmish, a smallish one, where I can try and show as many features as I can as possible off game, or carry on with the campaign, what do you think? And he suggested do a skirmish one. So that's what I'm doing this for. And after this, get back to campaign. And so, I said, I've tried to show as much as I can. The only thing I haven't... I keep, let me save it. I am keep debating about because I've never done it myself. That's why I've never done it. Um, where is it? Government. This Commonwealth. I've never done this. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's just attempt it. And then I can just reload it if I don't want it. Because I've never done it. I've never seen the point for it. So at least I can show it off, I guess. You know, I don't know what I'm showing off here. Create new Commonwealth. Basically, I think the, I think the, the basic idea of this, if I'm not mistaken, my, my civilization can hold up to four. Uh, where is it? Here. There we go. Here we go. Can I, no, five. Sorry. Five. My little can hold five. I've currently got, I believe it's eight. If I'm not mistaken, eight planets. And I can hold five. And they start getting all... Basically, they get upset and they get all hissy because you're only looking after the main planet, it's not ours, yeah, yeah, that, and this is supposed to stop that. But obviously, my normal most goal is to push onto technology, go for the one I like best was technology. You can go for any of these you want, but that's the one I like best, I'm trying to get to there. And the, as you see, that was sort of from lap 32. I just realised, what if you're doing a massive game? Is there any more than, of the 36 there, any more than 30? Or well, some of these don't have limits. Oh, okay, so don't have limits. Okay. So if this was like a gigantic game of 20 different races, you know, I don't know, 500 different planets, then the one I like probably wouldn't be any good. I guess stuff like this, that's a kingdom. I don't see anything that's critical mark enabled. Yeah. I don't. Oh, that's cool, it gets extra moves as well. I don't see anything other than these ones that will actually do it. So I guess these no limit ones will be the ones you want then. But right now I have a limit of five and they're upset with me. But it's like a soft limit because obviously I can still get more than five as I have, but they get upset. Anyway, let's see how this Commonwealth works. Because I, I, I always felt my understanding of this, like, trying it would be I would lose control of them planets. I don't want that. But let's see how it does it. I guess I can reload it after I've tried it just to show you. Okay, Commonwealth Nations, once, once part of Ivatopia. So, so yeah, I think that's what they're going to all use them. Uh, so these are all available. So I, I, I guess this little section I've just taken. Do the fries. Okay, how do I do it? Uh, Customise Commonwealth? What the? Overview, who is your civilization? So behaviors and flavor text. Oh, it's like creating a new race for them. What? Okay, that's weird. Okay, how do I cancel? No, oh, what's happening? Kingmaker. I just basically didn't change nothing, so apparently I've got a uh, achievement Kingmaker. Hot loading game day here. Okay, let, let, okay, let's try it again. Customize Commonwealth. 
Um, let's just go for something completely different. Like I said, I'm probably going to reload this because I don't really want to do this, but I just thought I should show it off. So most of these are built in the game. There'll be some that I downloaded, probably. They're just still in there, that is. There's a Snaffy. There's another version of a Snaffy. See, obviously these are downloaded. And if you see an early episode of the channel, I actually fought against these. One was Terminator 2. Maybe that's what this old one was. Um, do you know what's over humans other than the one I've got? What up, video? Ah, oh, oh, here we go. So these are the, the thingy ones, they move. What about this dude? We'll go with him, I think. Oh no, let go with her. Do you mean charge? I can ask cool. I see some from um, Star Control, the DLC. Okay, so we'll have her. Uh, portrait. Oh, that's put. Oh, there's a logo I was thinking I was clicking on. You know, I actually read it's portrait too. Uh, so her face will make more sense. Yeah, Canada, why not? <laughs> Just Canadian. Okay, uh, foreground. Customized background video. Video would be cool. That's from. Um, <laughs> Worship it, Star Control. Why not? Okay, leader. Why not? Super Nova Tepay. Okay, there's little ones. I was going to say, why are they all caps? Let's start that again. I want the opening of the cap. Super. No cap. Super. That's two caps. Hold it down, UP. Okay, apparently that isn't caps. Huh. Nova. Nova? Oh my god, too, too many A's. Okay, that is caps now. Don't have to hold it down for non caps. Nova. Capital T. Tepay. Okay, that's what the fudge. T. T. Ow. <laughs> Apparently it's just a little version of it, that's not that. Oh, whatever. So, super, and hold it. Super. Nova. Tepe. Well, that'll do. Okay, homeworld, star system, not at all, Commonwealth. Shut name. Ship call sign. Ah. Uh, Nova. So it's like you're doing the wrong way around. Nova. Novas. Short named the Newtopians. The Novians. <laughs> the Novians. <laughs> the Novi and the Novians. The Novians. Novians. I don't know what Novians. The Novians. <laughs> Name the Newtopia. A new. No vins. No vins, no vins. No vins. I guess it would be an I, wouldn't it? No vins. Oh, wrong place. No vins! Okay, okay. Video, video. Anything else can customize? Description. I'm just going to leave that. Commonwealth Nation. What? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well. Leader. Personality. Set behavior flavor text. So, literally, you can make a whole new race for them. Uh, customize the way they behave. What's the slogan? Time to slow. Describe something more. Yeah, I'll leave that. Describe the strength weaknesses. I guess it could just be in the same stuff as us. Oh, actually, can I have them focus on wealth? You're going to be all about wealth and technology. Well, first. Then hopefully we can trade with you because it's your part of us. I don't know. Okay. I guess we'll keep it at that. Let's see what it does. That said, I can always reload this anyway. So, the new Novians. So, how do I do this now? I'm going to give them these three. MJ, careful with the background and the bone, please. Okay, how do I do this? So, I chose an available, obviously, that's fine. Uh, did I double click it? What the? The game crashed! Okay, bad people. I don't believe the game actually crashed. I don't know, I haven't seen Crash in single play for a long time, but then I've never used that feature before. Maybe that's a feature slightly buggy, I don't know. So I'm reloading the game back up before we attempted that. 
I don't believe it crashed. Huh. My player is a little different, but sheesh. Okay, so let, let, should we try this again? See if it was a, a fluke? Okay, government. Commonwealth. Create new commonwealth. Ah, oh, seriously? I guess we, we know what we put in there, don't we? We went with Canada. We edited video to be her. Background we went with the Star Control. Them. <clears throat> Star Control. Boom. Um, <coughs> we called them the Novus. We call them the Novians. Well, the name was Super Nova Tefe. New name is Novians. Put that in the wrong spot, didn't I? I put the act there last time, didn't I? That was right. The Novians. Okay. Personality. We basically moved this to the top. And we moved tech to there, didn't we? And we saved it. And it did hot loading game data, whatever that bloody means. You know, it's hot! Shh! Okay. And this is where it screwed up on us. Because we still didn't really know how to make the actual fingers. And again. Okay, back once more. The game crashed again when I clicked there. I don't know why. Is it because it's got a customized version? You know what? I, I, I still don't 100% know what the Commonwealth thing does. It's, I feel I know what I think it does. But I guess we ain't going to find out. Maybe you want to try it and see if it works for you at home. But I'm going to leave that now. Two crashes in a row. And it's not a feature that I've never felt I needed to use before now anyway. So... I'm going to move on from that. That's a lot disappointing though, it crashes though, that when I wanted to finally test it, I can't. Anyway, well, okay, well, we were up to then. Um, oh yeah, we're on the process of heading over there, aren't we, attacking? Okay, what do you, okay, you want, we'll pick some of this stuff up. Keep our money for rolling in, because we're all about to 50 now. <laughs> now good. But what I assume is going to happen, I may come with all these safe free planets. And then there will be an independent from me. But, they, but things probably wouldn't attack me because they they broke off from me, but they haven't turned on me. And we could trade and stuff. Or they might give me some money now and again. That's what I thought was happening. Also, I'll lose control of how they build themselves out, though. I don't know if they could then rebel against you and turn on you. Like I said, I hit crashes, so I couldn't tell. Do you know an ominous tip? Our oh, sources that the Korean class clan has issued a statement of war. Okay. Where at war will you be you with someone else? Government is interested in the needs. That's what you said before. Yes, I know. That's what I was doing that thing for. And it didn't work. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this guy doing? Oh, is this the guy from over there? Oh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, he's going for them. I know what he's doing. You know what? Let's. Okay, one last time. We're going to try it without creating the thingy. And see if it does it one more time. We're going to do this differently. We're not going to create... It's just going to be Utopia. We're not going to create a new one and mess with that. Since it does that hot low, so that affects it. So you click once, it's fine. And it's when I double clicked. Because to me, I don't know what else, how else you would... Uh, 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 pick it. Because look, add it. So I'm assuming it's a double click. Or do you drag it? No. So it only has custom common log. We know what that is. Cancel would cancel this. Done would be finished. But I haven't picked anyone. So let's try double clicking. That worked. So apparently, if you customize your thing first, it screws it up. Okay, so. Double click. So the capital is far afraid. I've probably done that the wrong way for the capital anyway, haven't I? Have I? Yeah. And that should be. Can I cancel? Okay, I cancel. That's a different work. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, Commonwealth. Create Commonwealth. You want the best planet at the top, so this one, right? So double click is the way to go, but it crashed it before, okay. And do the Pharaohs. And do the Pharaohs. 
Okay, one second of it to three. Okay, so up to three you're allowed. So. Okay, so it's showing down the map that these are the Commonwealth. So let's see, done, see what happens. Oh, so it, I want you to do a civilizing bird thingy. I wonder if it's okay to do it now then, if we do it in this, this order. Let's see. Because it, it didn't crash on this, did it? It was, it was after it. So, so it looks like if you create the Commonwealth first and then create the person, it seems to work. It's a little weird, but okay, we'll, we'll go with it. Novus. Short name, LMB. No. Vins. The Novians. The. No. Vins. Okay, so this we went with. Oh, Canada. And then we went with. Blah, 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 blah. Yo. Then we went with. That and ah, oh, we did that one. And her. Okay, that's done. Super Nova Tefe. Uh, okay. Then the personals, we just changed this. We thought they'll max out with that. There's no point of exploring because there's not much to explore. Save. They grow, they grow so fast. Okay, so we got achievement for doing that. Huh. So actually, got two achievements by doing this. The one earlier. Oh, good message from the Novians. <clears throat> this is a day that shall be so be. Ugh, words start to scratch. Oh, blah, blah. This is a day that shall be long remembered in history. The Novians look forward to our partnership with Iotopia. Shall work together for the good of our people. This is indeed a glorious day together. We shall crush our enemies. Okay, so how's that? Oh, look, Canadian flags now. And the game crashed. So, back again, the game crashed. I was about to look at diplomacy. Would it, as a new people in diplomacy, is it basically like adding another race? Because to me, if you're doing that, isn't that just going to keep the game going? Actually, did they quick save it at all? I didn't think of that. Uh, auto save. What day? 608. 657. No. They didn't. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so I, I don't know. Unless we just don't create the Novians. Okay, screw it. One, one last time, one last time. One last time. And after this, we're not trying to get if it screws up again. Can't say we haven't experiment with this, eh, hey, people? Okay. Done. I'm just going to keep you default. It's got a different thing you start to do. It says Utopia, that's why it's called it. I want to see if it's in diplomacy. If it crashes again, it's the last time we're trying this, people. Uh, diplomacy? Okay, I didn't crash that time. How does this work? Oh, super friendship with them. Hey, currently at 5,000 straight away. Oh! But do I lose access to the stuff? They're supposed to be friends. Oh, they have all my technology. Sure, yeah, I've never done a trade with them. Oh, yeah, can declare war on them. Okay, so they're just like a civilization now, but one who starts off super friendly with you. Okay. Um, the planets. Yeah, I can't see the planets now. Okay, so that's... Okay, so at least we know what it does now. It literally cuts the planet... Oh, seriously? Okay, for the umpt time, it crashed again. Apparently, that feature is buggy as hell. So, I don't normally need it or want to use it, and I'm glad, because apparently you can't. It's buggy as hell right now. Um, anyway, I was just trying to say, so at least we know what that feature does now. It seems to, the gist of it... You cut your planets down, give them to another player, who supposed to with a crash, allow you to create a new race and be a subside side from you. They have all the technology that you had up to that point. They seem to have 
So I would ask 5,000 money, the free planets, and friendship. Come to here with you. So in other words, you're in the point probably to ask them, you want to be a come alliance with me or something like that? They probably would. So that's what it's supposed to. Obviously, I ain't going to go down that route anyway right now because it keeps crashing. So hopefully they'll patch that up and fix that little thing. But I've never, ever, ever used that feature in my life before today. But I thought, oh, I'm trying to show as much of this game off as possible. Let's try it. Not expecting it to crash left, right and centre. So the concept of it, if it works and doesn't crash, is good. You know, I personally don't like it. That's why I want it to my technology thing. Anyway, we left off with this guy going for them. Again, luckily, he didn't have a few more points to really kill them, because they have no defense. These guys do us. This guy now dies. I mean, see, he goes top down. As every time you turn the game off back on, it always defaults in top down. You want cinematic, you got to change it. If you, you know, keep playing for three, four, five hours, every time it, it stays on what you're on. But because it crashed every time, it went back to top down. Beautiful. Okay, guys, move forward. Victory certain, victory certain. Ooh, maybe I should have killed that first. Holy fudge. To certain though, hey? I do have the rank. Oh, yeah, that's why I look 20 missiles. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ships. And they're going to be finding like three out of the time. We'll find 20 with three ships. Aaron, you had 32 to 8. Sugar. Their defense is only 6. Well, we can take more damage than them. Yeah, we've got the points here. What do they even have here? Oh, Hypergates. I wonder, can't fight. He's, he, they're trying to get someone from the new Hypergate up or killed. Mid range ship set up for beam weapons. It's earned its name. So there's the little beams. Prime Minister ship, the direct oversight of the Prime Minister. What was that thingy of worlds? Provide 30% to all construction. So he's again based like the. The, the, the Terran was flying around earlier, and I thought it was my mistake. He's helping them build quicker. Uh, min, uh, medium sized kinetic warfare ship, larger slug. Okay, not bad. It's probably the strongest thing they've got. Colony ship. Uh, special colony ship, moves at points. Has it got any people aboard it? Sensors. I don't think they've got anyone aboard it right now. If they're not mistaken, I don't think they've got anyone aboard that, so we're going to kill millions or a billion or anything. Uh, mid range. Again. Prototype Bama. Huh, got prototype. Mixed bag. But we should just annihilate him with pure missile spam, basically, in range. Oh, he, he did get shot by one of theirs. He got deflected, though. Nice. Oh, beautiful. They already hit. Nah, I was going to say, not quite. We killed two of them. One of them did get a missile or something off, and we deflected it. Oh, there's another shot. Oh no, it's all shooting them. Ha! <laughs> I don't think we're taking any damage. 39, 39. Beautiful! No damage! And they're all gone. Woohoo! We just have superior ships to these. Beautiful. I shouldn't have bypassed that though. Can I get this one here? Ah. On defending, that's fine. That one's that's fine. What defending with? Well, that's dead anyway. Construction. So now another one here to go off and build something else. But he's dead. And they haven't really pushed a shipyard up much. I don't, actually don't think you can upgrade a shipyard, can you? It's a star base, as you can. That could have built a star base. I've never looked into that if you can build uh, upgrade shipyards. Hmm, interesting. One on one. Okay, I'll speed them up because they're taking the time to get there. They're like flying around. Oh, okay, done. <laughs> ah. But I should be able to. Actually, is there anything on here? Don't want to fly like killing them. As long as there's no invasion ship, that should be fine. Can I even reach them this turn? Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's that death structure. Ooh, looks like he's got some legions. Oh, crap, I have eight. Sugar. Okay, so this, if I haven't shown it to this skirmish yet before, this is, you're going to see how the ground combat works now, if I haven't been able to show it off. <laughs> Trouble is, I'm going to lose this, but... Pen, 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 words, pen, pen, words, for crying out loud. Depending, that's the word I was looking for, depending on your research and access, you have access to these. 
I've got two right now. I know an invasion attack research for up tech, so you don't want these. But basically, I have conventional warfare. I have 28 versus 26. You know, I have 8 legions, they have 11. Why, why is mine higher if I have less than them? Shouldering plus. Oh, I have 3%. We'll attack it with 30% strength. That's why. So my each one of my troops is stronger than their troops. That's what that's telling me. Again, I can't remember that's to do with my race or research I've done, but as you can see, there can be a discrepancy. Tech advantage, we, we got a lot better tech than they have, so we're strong. Is a boost to the strength. Ah, we got some this then. To the army base on a civilization progress down a tech tree. Your forces currently have an advantage of 50 to 49 over your enemy. It's not, not much of an advantage. But then again, I gave him half of my research earlier, that's probably why. So that could be a reason, don't do that, then you would destroy them. Population's 8 billion. Okay, so it says we have strength 28 versus 26, so we should win. We can do conventional, cost us nothing. This is war, it's purest form, two forces find it out, often one on one in the streets, not the easiest way to take a planet, but often the way. You have access to these, well I don't because I haven't got research, but I have access to this. Planetary bombardment. As you see, see that the resistance got 88, 26, boom, 18, 38. Makes it a hell of a lot easier. But this, this is what this does. Hurling nearby asteroids into the planet's surface weakens resolve but will result in an unhappy population later. However, it is relatively inexpensive. It costs me 500 in money. So I can basically go one on one and they'll be reasonably happy after it. Or I can upset them but almost guarantee the victory. And you can see it changes here. Like it's pretty even. If I screw it up, they could win it. Because you can quick battle it, but I want to do the start to show you the proper thing. Quick battle will probably go off this and that probably be guaranteed to win, but you can do better with this or worse. So I'm going to do this to more guarantee it, but let's start. Okay, so again, if I already showed this in a skirmish, that there's, there's the bombardment, then that's brilliant. You've already seen it, but if I haven't shown it, I have options to place my troops. I have three options here. And wherever the capital is, this is another thing that I kind of wish Galsif would change. Sometimes I mistakenly don't really remember which the capital is or what it looks like. And for that reason, I wish they had like a highlight. Let's say this capital and it has like highlighted capital. Maybe it just says capital or highlights it green or red. Well, they're all green. Highlights it red. Based off it, they stand out to show it's a capital. Instead of going off looks. But basically, the idea is I place some guys here. Like, I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. That's my troops. So in, in one legion, what, what was it, a million? Ah, soldiers, boom. Ah, that's overall. So divide that by eight. 520 versus that thing, you divide it by eight. That's what's sitting there now. And then I can go, boom, another set there. So that's double that. And what these will do will make a beeline for the capital. So again, I'm thinking it's this. I'm not sure. So if it is this, they will all head this direction. So, you can have a couple of options here, like, what's my goal? Is my goal to take the planet, or is my goal to hurt them for a later invasion? That's where you come to it, because, like, if I'm thinking, I'm invading, these are, I don't know, these are on 20, I'm on 8. I ain't got a chance. Capital's here, if I put all my forces here and they smash into this, they'll kill this building, kill this building, and if the capital's down here, I smash and I smash, and basically when they run to they'll kill them. Destroy the builders as they go. That, that means they have to rebuild these buildings. They lose access to these buildings. Do you see what I'm saying? It's also the same situation. Do I want the capital and want to keep these buildings? If I do, if that is the capital, these are going to go this way. Meaning, they won't destroy all this. Well, if we go here, they're going to destroy these two. So if I want the least damage possible and I know I'm going to win, I go for this. Now I'll show you what the defenders will do. Defenders will be able to place their units. How many have these? 11 anywhere on their, their individual fingers. So they can put... So if you don't want to lose the planet, you put everything you have, again, assuming this is a capital, right here on the capital. You put everything you've got on this capital. And then no matter what they destroy when they get here, they're going to have the full force fighting them. So like, again, if I put two here, two here, two here, uh, I don't know, put another two here. If these hit here first and they've got all their forces here, they're probably going to kill these before these even reach it. And then they'll like, kill these because theoretically it's 11 on... Well, how many say I put there? Two. 11 on two. Then these reach, 11 on 2. Now we got 4. How many did they kill on 2s? You see what I'm saying? They're probably down to 6. Now it's 6 on 4. Boom. They've won. I, I don't get the planet. Or they can be more thingy. Well, this guy's got a chance. He's going to focus on killing this because my most important building for whatever reason. Put everything here. But then I put him here and one unit takes it. And I take the planet. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So as a defender, are you focused on defend my capital? 
100%. Don't lose a planet. Or am I focused on, well, this guy might be here just to kill these. Even if he's got a beeline here. If I put them all here, and he puts some here, I'm going to kill them, and I lose nothing. You see what I'm saying? I always feel best attacking with my goal of being to take the planet, put them all together. Because then it's a full force. If my goal was, I can't win, then I'll probably spread these out to get as much damage as possible. But since I want to take everything... Probably most of the sense would have made me there, because there's, there's a chance, there's a chance here that that ain't the capital, and there's a chance he might go boom downwards, he might have to jump by land, I'm not sure, I'm hoping he'll just go this way, but if this is the capital, he's going to go this way kill all this, so this we'll find out, and we'll see where he puts his. Oh, he's put everything on the capital, so that is the capital, but you see what I'm saying, if I put him here, I could have killed these on the way. So how are we going down, and it's going to be close, and we did it. That's what I said, it, it's... I feel it's better than most for X's ground combat. But it's still not perfect. I would prefer... Like, um... Endless Space 2. They have a little th thing where you see the people shoot. That's cool, I like that. I feel like Galsif's still not there, but it's, it's still a lot better than most for X's, where you just invade, done. Invade, done. Especially if you have Galsif 3 at the start, it's just invade, done. I like that. If they actually have troops, there is a fight. There's little tactics about it. Like, I just wanted the camera to end off. But again, if I was like the opposite way around, I ain't gonna win this. But I wanted to hurt them as much as possible so they won't have enough resources to fight back later on and weaken them for another invasion. Then I could have put my troops over here. I would have killed them two buildings as I did it before I even reached that and then lost to them. So, it just says attack as casualties, look, 310, 881. Soldiers defend the casualties, 651, for 49 soldiers. Citizens, but as you can see, if I hadn't have done that, since they put everything they had at that area, they probably would have won that. But I spent 500 extra, bombarded them first, build destroyed not. So I got a full planet, not a single build destroyed. So that was that could have gone better for me if I wanted. Unless I was like, I don't want these builds, I want these killed. But I can just destroy them now if I want, anyway. See, so look, every single building they had. If I put them here, I would have lost these two buildings. What would have been a construction factory and I, they, they would have lost a mega factory so they put everything here but they could have put everything here instead but then I would have taken this with ease and they would have no casualties because you would, they would have avoided the combat but obviously it was like oh, I know what this building is I don't need it I don't want it for example uh, ideologies I may have violated on it right now but say there's a benefactor building I don't want to touch that with a barge pole for whatever reason roleplay reason gameplay I don't know whatever and I knew for a fact that was the building that gives you that, the, the Ben of Islet every time. Which one does do it? Well, it's a building, a ministry centre, produced there. Ministry centre. I knew for a fact it was a ministry centre. And I don't want that. I could put them there and kill that on the way. And of course, if I want, I can destroy now anyway. Don't even know. If I want to, I can still destroy them anyway. But we're going to upgrade these. Because they weren't as high technology as so we want the benefits from it. Voila! Here's some of their assets to experience can boost. So as they say, that was cool. And with that, we're actually 32 minutes. This episode actually took me a hell of a lot longer than that because of all the crashing. So we're going to have to edit, what, was about five crashes out of this? Obviously, I'll, t I'll keep it in when I'm explaining how it cr why it crashed and that. So, see you next time. Please like, please subscribe, and hopefully we'll take the final one of them. And they are gone! I mean, I hope you've been awesome. Bye, everybody!